If you have been thinking about starting your career as a data analyst in 2026, then you are in exactly the right place. In this video, I am going to take you through a complete step-by-step -step journey on how to become a data analyst from scratch with skills to focus on, where to study them and how to practice and even what kind of projects will actually get you noticed by recruiters. Now, before we dive in, let's talk about why this role matters so much. Every company today is drowning in data. Think about it. Swiggy has to analyze millions of food orders every single day to figure out which restaurants are doing well, which areas need faster delivery, and what customers are actually liking. Netflix has to check viewing patterns to recommend the right shows to you. Even your local e-commerce store is constantly studying data to figure out why some products sell and some do not. Behind all of this is one crucial job the data analyst. And that's why companies are always on the lookout for people who can read, process and present data in a way that drives business decisions. So let's start this journey from the basics. The first two things you'll need to learn are Excel and SQL. If you're already familiar with Excel, let's get into SQL, the language of data. Imagine a huge library where every piece of information is stored in tables. SQL is like the librarian that lets you fetch the exact book that you need. Want to know which student in a college scored the highest marks in any subject? SQL can pull it out instantly. Want to get even more specific? Like a list of female students who scored more than 80%. Simple commands like select and where allow you to search for specific data. After you have built your foundations in SQL, you will also move into complex territory combining different tables, grouping results, and ranking them. This is the foundation that will make you comfortable dealing with raw databases in any company. Now, as your skills grow, you will soon realize that sometimes SQL and Excel are just not enough. That's when Python enters the picture. Python is like a Swiss army knife in data analysis. You can clean messy data sets, merge files, and even automate repetitive work that would otherwise take hours. Python libraries like Pandas allow you to handle real-world data. Imagine you have downloaded uh, 10 years of IPL statistics. You can use Python to analyze which player's performance is actually improving over time, or which team relies too much on winning tosses. And when you want to make that data look good, Python libraries like Matplotlib and Seaborn let you build graphs that tell the story at a glance. But the thing is, companies today don't just want to see your analysis in code, or Excel Sheets. They want interactive dashboards. Tools like Power BI or Tableau are made exactly for that. Let's say you're working for a retail chain. Instead of sending a 30-page PDF report, you can build a live dashboard that shows sales figures, trends, and predictions at the click of a button. Your manager can zoom in and out of the data, filter by location, or even forecast next quarter's revenue. Once you master this, that's when you stop being just a data cruncher and start becoming someone who drives real business strategy. Of course, none of this will work if you don't understand the language of statistics. Don't worry, you don't need a PhD in mathematics. You just need to understand the basics. Concepts like mean, median, and standard deviation will help you understand how data is distributed. Correlation will help you see if two things are connected, like whether higher marketing spends really increase sales, or if it's just a coincidence. Here, hypothesis testing will help you make data-backed decisions, like testing whether changing a button color on an app actually improves user signups. These statistical tools are what make your work scientific instead of just guesswork. But here's the truth. No matter how many skills you learn, if you don't showcase them, it doesn't count. And that's why projects are your currency in this field. So what next? Start small. Maybe analyze your Spotify listening history to see which artist you stream the most. Then move on to something more professional, like building a Power BI dashboard that tracks IPL scores across seasons. And when you're confident, build something advanced. Maybe combine SQL, Python, Excel, and Tableau into one end-to-end -end solution, like uh, creating a financial dashboard that not only tracks expenses, but also predicts, let's say, next month's cash flow using machine learning. Upload these projects on GitHub. Share them on LinkedIn and talk about your learnings. 
recruiters are far more impressed by practical work than just certificates. And the best part, you don't need years to do all of this. In just six months of consistent learning, you can go from absolute beginner to a job-ready data analyst. The roadmap is simple. First SQL, then Excel, Power BI, Python, statistics, AI, and finally projects. If you do it right, by the end of it, you'll not just understand data, you'll be able to turn it into decisions that matter. So if you have been waiting for the right moment to start your career in data science, let me tell you, now is the time. Start today, stay consistent, and in six months, you won't just be another job seeker. You might be the best candidate every company is looking for. Like, share, and subscribe to Newton School. This is your chance to build your career in data with Newton School. Just fill out the form in the description below.